Thank you, humans. My next guest is an Emmy-winning producer, comedian, author, and the host of Real Time on HBO. Please welcome Bill Maher. Thanks for coming on. I like that. Is that a colonel or a general that you just had on? That was a colonel. I thought he colonel. was a general. We, we should uh, give him a, a promotion. Really? He should, I, because I think he was saying some. No, yeah. Yeah. It's sobering. You it's sobering, but Jack Jacob, he tells it like it is. Yeah, you don't hear that a lot. You hear a lot, especially from the Republicans, mm -hmm. that, you know. <laughs> Just the name gets a laugh. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, that you know, we need we need to wipe them out. <laughs> that's a laugh it gets. <laughs> you, you used to be uh, a Republican, didn't you? I don't you? know what you're talking about. Right. That's the... I've always worked here. <laughs> yes. No, the Republicans uh, don't talk uh, well, about wipe... quite as sharply as that. Well, they talk about wiping them out. Right. Yeah. Cruz, I, I, I believe, actually said, you know, uh, I'd like, wipe them out. I'll wipe them out completely. Right. Basically, turn the desert into glass. Yeah. Right. Because they'd give up to him because he's a chicken hawk with a law degree. That's, mm -hmm. it's, mm -hmm. that's crazy. And uh, I mean, just the idea that you can wipe them out. This is the old Vietnam model. Mm -hmm. Body counts. Remember Vietnam? We had. I don't, Bill. I'm much younger than that. <laughs> I don't know. Who is this? Who is this Nixon you speak of, Bill? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, probably a guy you voted for. Anyway, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. but no, remember body counts? They did a lot of body counts. Yeah, General Westmoreland. Yes, yeah. we have to, and we were always winning in the body count count, right. but lost the war. Well, the worry You're is never that gonna... even if you if you uh, have a military victory. Uh, against ISIS in the Middle East, what does that do about the sort of things that happen in Paris? Because that wasn't a, a military event, that was a terrorist event with guns and, and vests. So you don't need an army. And to do also, that. you know, we have, as Donald Trump would say, been bombing the <laughs> out of ISIS. Mm -hmm. Very presidential, isn't it? I will bomb the <laughs> out of ISIS. Uh, so it is appealing, though. It's appealing. Like that bomb the <laughs> out of it, he said just uh, right. the night before. Um, the actual attacks in Paris, and it really does sort of scratch an itch, like, yeah, yeah, bomb the shit out of them, but then what does that achieve? Is the well, question. obviously nothing, because they bombed Beirut a few days before Paris, mm -hmm. then they bombed half of Paris, they got the Russian airliner down. Mm -hmm. So the bombing is not going to wipe them out. You cannot wipe people out. There lies the general, Colonel, mm -hmm. <laughs> as the lieutenant said. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> There wouldn't be an ISIS if we hadn't gone into Iraq in the first place. Mm -hmm. that, that's really important to know, that we shouldn't have done that to begin with. If after 9-11, we had just gotten bin Laden mm -hmm. and reinforced the cockpit doors of airplanes, we would probably be better off. But we had to go start this mess, and now the dinosaurs are outside of the theme park. <laughs> And I do this for a living, and I'm not sure if I follow you okay, there. Okay, but, but they did. That's they did? What's okay, important. good. Yeah. Uh, Explain it to me later. Okay. <laughs> but uh, you can't wipe people out off the map. That's not going to happen. What you have to do is wipe out the idea. Yeah, but also, if all the people, if all the people who have the idea don't exist, then the idea disappears. But then you, you notice you don't hear a then, lot from but, the caucuses anymore, because the Russians are really brutal when they finally get down to it. But see, here's the part where um, it this is gets... the most bloodthirsty conversation I've ever had with anyone in my life, by the way, <laughs> and yet it scratches an itch because you 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 want something to happen. You keep saying that it's creepy. Um, <laughs> I don't want to scratch an itch for you. Stop saying that. Really. Uh, <laughs> It tickles your chin? Anything? <laughs> Don't you have any, you know, there's bad feelings. Okay, it, it feathers my <laughs> Anyway, the point. That, that I followed. <laughs> I'm on board with whatever you're saying now. What are we talking no, about? Killing uh, an uh, idea. Uh, oh, yeah. Is that we have kill, to come up with bombs well, that kill but ideas. The, but yeah, but uh, I mean, I feel like you're on this page. Are we going to wipe them out? No, I'm not. Oh, okay. I'm saying that it is a, it's an emotional response. Right. I'm and not on the not page. A, and that's not a good idea, emotional mm -hmm. responses. Let, let's use this and not this. That's what, that's why. 
Thank you. That's why at the Republican debate the other night, the biggest applause is for the people who say, yeah, America, yeah, let's kick ass. Well, oh, you can't say that here. You gave me the <laughs> Believe me, I don't think <laughs> gonna make it either. Really? Yeah, I really know. I really oh, wait, know. No, wait. We'll find out. We'll find out if it makes it. I really don't think I, it's going to, Bill. That, well, that would piss me off because yeah. is not a bad word. Oh, isn't it really? It's, what it's, it, it's, it's bad adjacent. It's well, in the zone, it's Bill. Actually, it's actually adjacent to something bad. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It is fine. It is really? A nice yes. one. A fine. nice one. You don't I, want like fact, a low rent. <laughs> So you, you if you're taking care of it. <laughs> you need to assure me <laughs> is in or I'm not coming back for the next segment. Dan. <laughs> Dan, Dan, right? Get, get the Dan. colonel ready. He's gonna have to... I don't know. <laughs> All right. Wow. Wow. <laughs> we're, real, we're really solving some world problems here, Bill. This well, is it. Is this kind of stuff you do on real to, time? Is this real time? You do this kind of stuff on real time? <laughs> How much <laughs> talk is there on real we, time? We, uh... Yeah? We, we do it a little better. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> now, do you want to continue with this? Because I was about to talk about Of the course. Fact. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Oh, I th I this thought is all going to be great in the editing suite. I was it's just going to say. Once we're done with this, this is well, great. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, please, please, go ahead. You were going to solve the Middle East. Go well, ahead. Well, I wasn't going to solve it, but I was going to say it's about uh, ideas. Yeah. And that's why we can't go wobbly on what it means to be a liberal. You know, you can't wipe everybody out because It'd be one thing if, if the terrorists did not share ideas with lots of mainstream people who follow the Islamic religion, mm -hmm. but they do. Uh, unfortunately, if I said to you, well, if only ISIS believed that anyone who leaves the religion should be killed, mm -hmm. well, maybe then we can finally kill all of ISIS. But what if that's 20, 30, 40 percent of, of all Muslim people in the world? You're not going to kill all of them, are you? Uh, no, I'm not going to kill any of them, Bill. Great. <laughs> We have to change those ideas. Women as second-class citizens. No. Gay people don't deserve to be alive. These are mainstream ideas, unfortunately. <laughs> and liberals have to say, no quarter. No quarter. No quarter for those kind of ideas. Um, uh, stick around for another round of this. I want to talk about some more ideas with Bill Maher. Oh, ideas. Okay. I love it. We'll be right back with more ideas with Bill Maher. <laughs>